All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into it. Let me check the time. All right, so we have 60 seconds. like to welcome all our team members and all of our guests on YouTube. Please like and share and comment. Starting Wednesday, we will be doing two workshops every week. Uh, we'll let you know what the time will be on Wednesday. Of course, you know we do a Saturday at 12 p.m. So starting this week, we're going to have two training calls. That's the first good news for everybody. All right, let's go ahead and get the recording started. All right, excellent. So my name is Mark. I consider it an honor to be your host as we share this very important update, update call and other details. So let's go ahead and get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we have several topics we're going to talk about today. The first one is website speed. So as you know, when we went live, we know we had a lot of traffic, uh, 25,000 people hitting uh, every, every few minutes. It was a tremendous amount of traffic. Uh, the website stayed up, but it slowed down. And so as a result of that, our developers have been working night and day, literally 18 hours a day, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of hard to imagine the amount of work that's been going on behind the scenes, but we have seen the results of that because the website has sped up tremendously. How many of you would agree with that? All right, so that's the first announcement for everybody. The website is getting faster, and you're going to notice it's going to continue to get faster as they continue to make upgrades within the system. Second thing we're going to talk about is education. All the educational videos that you have purchased, ladies and gentlemen, will be available in your back office starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, those packages and the education that you've purchased, those videos will be available to you in your back office. So go ahead and make and make note of that. And I know we've got uh, Coach Brian on the call. You're welcome, Coach Brian. I'm going to give you an opportunity to uh, just kind of speak on some of these topics just to make sure that I don't, I don't leave any valuable information, any valuable information out. Okay, the next thing that we want to talk about is, guess what? Withdrawals. Guess what? Withdrawals will be available tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let me go ahead and change that right now. I'm going to change that live right on the screen here, okay? All right, so this is very important. Let's save that. All right. All right, so withdrawals start tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, we need to talk about something because uh, uh, I think people get the wrong idea. They don't understand why they could not withdraw sooner. Well, I'm going to share with you several, several of the reasons. And some of you can attest to this because many of you, you put the wrong wallet addresses in your back office. You put the wrong wallet address to receive your earnings. You got the wrong address in there. All right. And so if the withdrawals were turned on, guess what? you would have withdrawn to the wrong wallet address and your money is gone forever. Because once withdrawals take place, ladies and gentlemen, they cannot be reversed. Bitlocity is not responsible once you make a withdrawal to some wallet that's not yours, or you put an Ethereum wallet address in there, or you left a couple of letters off of your wallet address. But these are the kind of things that have been going on, ladies and gentlemen. And so now, hopefully your wallet is, is in there correct. You need to go there and you need to check it. You need to verify that you put the correct wallet in there. Otherwise, once you click that withdraw button, Velocity is not responsible for that anymore. That money goes into cyberspace and is gone forever. So this is very important. If you've seen some of the challenges we've had up to this point, you understand that it was a good idea that people couldn't withdraw sooner because of all the mistake, user errors, and various things that people have done just getting this far. But the good news, withdrawals will be live tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Go ahead and write that down and pass that word on to your, your team members. <clears throat> Most important thing you need to understand, withdrawals are not reversible, ladies and gentlemen. Once you make that withdrawal, Bitlocity is not responsible anymore. You're the one that put that wallet address in there. If you put the wrong address in, that's on you. Okay? Let's go to the next topic. And we're not going to be long, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting right, right to it. 
The next thing is iOS. All the challenges with iOS devices have been fixed already, ladies and gentlemen. You can use your iPad. You can use your iPhone. Those issues have already been fixed. Okay? So the iOS challenges have been fixed. Next thing, we want to talk about held up transactions with unopened packages. All right, so let's just say, for example, that uh, you made a purchase for a package, and but in your back office, that, that particular package is not opened, all right? We consider that a held up transaction. So if you have a transaction that was held up and your package is not open, I want to share with you what you're going to need to do to, to, to address that. OK, now you may also have uh, some <clears throat> some pending transactions. One of the things you have to understand in the back office is when you see pending transactions, that actually represents the amount of money that you have earned. It's going to stay pending until you actually withdraw it. Then it's going to disappear. It'll no longer be in pending. It's going to be in transaction history. So some of this, we just have to learn how to read what's in our back office. And so you're certainly going to understand that these are the kind of things we'll, we'll be covering in training repeatedly over and over and over again. All right. Now, and Brian, if anytime you want to chime in just to, uh, you know, pick up on anything that I may have missed, you're, you're welcome to do so. So now <clears throat> let's just say that you have unopened packages. You paid, but the package hasn't, hasn't opened. All right. And, and it seems though that transaction hasn't been completed. What you need to do is send a support ticket, Bitlocity, support at bitlocity.io with this specific subject line. This is very important, ladies and gentlemen, to speed up the process uh, with support helping, helping us. We have to be a bit more organized. All right. So the subject line is going to be pack packages unopened. That's your subject line. And then from there, you're going to include a bunch of details, which, which I'm going to show you, share with you here, here in, in just a moment. Okay. Another problem that you, a challenge you may have had is multiple payments. So let's say you paid the $25 admin fee multiple times because you were waiting for it to go through. Or maybe you, the first time you did it, uh, you put in $25 instead of the Bitcoin uh, amount. You, you changed it to $25. Okay. And so that money... It's got, got held up somewhere and it didn't allow you to, to upgrade or to pay your an admin fee. So you had to do it again. All right. So if that's your case, you've had multiple payments. All right. You're going to send a support ticket, support at bitlocity.io. And the subject line is going to be multiple payments. You need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, Bitlocity does not want your money. We're not just trying to get your money for no reason. Okay. We don't want your money. If you made a mistake, we want to get that money back to you. So now, let me just uh, see. I, I didn't have time to get everything on this on this PowerPoint here. But what do you need to put in that those emails? All right. There's some specific information you need to put in those emails. So bear with me one second here and I'll tell you what that information is. <clears throat> All right. Well, first thing you're going to need is your name and your username your name and your username on those emails and put this on all of your emails, ladies and gentlemen, to support your name, your username. All right. Of course, your email address. We need the transaction ID. All right. If it's a proof of, uh, we need some type of proof of payment. All right. Transaction ID, which would be a very long code, include that and include screenshots. The more screenshots you give us, the better. We want to make it as easy as possible for support to be able to help you. All right, so I'm going to repeat those things. Your name, your username, your email address. We need your, the transaction ID number. That's the blockchain ID number. So that we can look that up and verify, verify that payment. We need screenshots. Whatever the issues are, take screenshots of everything. Include that with that email. All right? And uh, I believe Alan is on the call here as well. And if Alan, if there's anything I'm leaving out, you, you know, you can feel, feel free to chime in on that, chime in on that as well. All right. Very good. Okay. So let's continue on. Those are some amazing, amazing announcements, ladies and gentlemen. If you, if you jumped on here late, I'm just going to repeat just a few things here. And then we're going to go to uh, common user errors. We're going to talk about those again. So the first thing, 
the website speed, it has already increased tremendously and it's going to continue to increase. You will notice the difference. Education, our educational videos will be released tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Any, any packages that you purchase, those educational videos associated with that, you'll be able to access those in your back office. Withdrawals will be released tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Now, a lot of, it's a good thing it wasn't released sooner. You know why? Because many of you put the wrong wallet addresses in there. Some of you even put the Bitlocity wallet address where you're supposed to put the withdrawal address. Some of you put Ethereum wallet addresses there. Some of you didn't even put the complete withdrawal address. So here's the thing. You need to verify your, your withdrawal address, ladies and gentlemen. And, and here's the thing, because once a withdrawal takes place, it can't be reversed. And Bitlocity is not responsible for that. You're the one that put that address in there. If you did it wrong, that's a mistake that you made, okay? So withdrawals will be open tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The iOS issues, the iPhones, the iPads, those issues have been fixed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, number five, held up transactions with unopened packages. Now, if you look in your back office and certain packages that you purchased, those packages have not been activated, all right? You're going to send in a Pacific uh, email to support, support at bitlocity.com. All right. You're going to, the subject line is going to say packages unopened. You're going to include screenshots, transaction IDs, your username, your email address, as much information as you can provide so that support can help you quickly. All right. You got un unopened packages. You look in your back office. You pay for a package, but it's not it's not activated. This is that that uh, support uh, email that you're going to be sending in. Then some of you have multiple payments, so you made the first payment, and instead of putting in the uh, the Bitcoin amount, you actually changed it to USD because you you knew that the admin fee was twenty five dollars. And you said it, it may have showed up as twenty four ninety. You said, wait a minute, that's wrong. You changed it to twenty five. That was a mistake. What we are concerned about is the Bitcoin amount. That's what allows the system to process things automatically. Always put in the Bitcoin amount. Don't worry about what the USD amount says. OK, so if you had multiple payments, Bitlocity is not doesn't want your money. We don't want your error. Those errors. We don't, we don't we don't want that money. We want to get that money back to you. You're going to have to send in an email support. I send an email to support at bitlocity.io with the screenshots of the transaction, the transaction ID. It's a very long number. So someone can look at that transaction ID and they can verify where that money came from and where that money went to. Many of you, when you made payments, some of you didn't even pay $25. Some paid as little as $10, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Hey, hey, right. hey Mark, it's Alan. Yes, sir. Um, they can send the email, you know, support at bitlocity.io, but they can also do that right from their back office by clicking on the icon on the left-hand side, or if they open it up, the, the left-hand toolbar at the top with the three hamburgers at the top, click on support, and that'll fill in their uh, email and information there. They can actually um, add attachments there. So the more, like Mark said, the more screenshots you provide, the better. Um, screenshots of your pending transactions, your transactions IDs, along with the screenshot of where you're at on your dashboard or on, on your matrix, but also take a screenshot of the payment processing. You know, if you use blockchain or Coinbase or whatever platform you use to make those payments, um, Give us a screenshot of that that includes the transaction ID and whether or not you've got transaction complete or how many confirmations are on that. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to go to common user errors. And uh, Coach Brian, did you want to add anything to what I've shared so far? Uh, sure thing, Mark. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Welcome to the call. Right. Thank you so much, man. So uh, a couple things really quickly, man. First of all, awesome job. And I, I know you've been <laughs> grinding right up until about 30 seconds before you open this up to uh, to get the latest uh, information on what everybody uh, should be doing. You know, and, and I just want to speak to the fact that 
Um, I know there's a lot of people on here. I know what fear of missing out is like. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are like, man, I, I got to get into the infinity line. I, I think the first thing I want everybody to realize is every single one of you is early. If you even know that Bitlossy exists right now, you're early. You know, this, this company is probably going to have over well over a million members um, over the next several months that are going to enter into it. So if you're concerned about the infinity line and that's why you're rushing and maybe making some mistakes or maybe adding some additional uh, frustration or anxiety, you can kind of release that a little bit. Just release that a little bit. We, th this has been 72 hours. There, there's going to be you know, months and months and years and years of people entering into the, uh, the infinity line. So please don't stress yourself out about that. Um, the other thing I want to say is that, you know, I know you talked about the education and withdrawals happening uh, Pacific Standard Time, uh, 12 p.m. tomorrow, noon Pacific. Um, with regards to withdrawals, you did a really good job of talking about the wallets. And I, I don't think it can be said enough. I mean, we have the, the developers right now um, really actually putting in some extra steps. So when you go to withdraw, it's just going to make sure, you know, just tell you, hey, please make sure you verify your wallet because um, all transactions through the through the, the BTC blockchain are irreversible. And I, I would just suggest that for all of you that are on here that are leaders and really care about your people, um, again, you need to explain that to them as, as well. You know, I know um, we are attracting a lot of people who this is the first time maybe for some of them that they've ever, ever done anything in, in the crypto universe. So they, they just got finished setting up a wallet for the very first time. They just got finished figuring out how to purchase Bitcoin and fund it for the very first time. And now they're going through this process. And it may be confusing for them. So number one, don't let anyone walk through this process on their own. You know, you, you should, you know, Mark, I know one of the most important stories that has always stuck in my head is when you were telling me about, a, a, you know, another company you had done a while ago and you were incredibly successful, but you had actually personally referred hundreds of people, hundreds and hundreds of people, but you took the time to personally walk through walk through the signer process with each and every single one of them to hold their hand because you realize just how valuable um, that education was. And that was the only way you're going to get duplication. I know I've, I've heard uh, already a lot of stories of people saying, why well, I didn't know how to do that right. The person who referred me just called me on the phone and said, go in, you'll figure it out. Or, you know, hey, you'll, you know, you're smart. Yeah, you've done this kind of stuff before. Or it's simple or it's easy. Guys, I, I don't think we should make any assumptions about what's simple and easy. What's simple and easy to some people because of your experience is incredibly complicated to others, um, which just causes anxiety, makes them not want to want to do it, makes them not want to duplicate it. So, you know, a, a little thing like, what Mark just said about, you know, people are trying to be honest. You know, they're saying, okay, you guys are asking me for this amount of BTC. I copied it. You know, I, cl I clicked the button that said copy the clipboard. I came in and I copied exactly that. So I know I did what I was supposed to do, but I also know it's supposed to be $50 and it's $49.37. So let me be honest and change the amount to $50. And they don't realize that by doing that, they're also changing the amount of BTC that the system's looking for. So you might want to just explain to them that, you know, Bitcoin, the value of it is moving and changing every single second. So when you hit a button to be able to open up a package right at that moment, the system is generating what it's looking for based off of the value of Bitcoin right at that specific moment. But even in the few minutes it takes you to read the instructions, to then copy it, to then go into your wallet, toggle into that to get it pasted in, the value of Bitcoin can change up or down. So sometimes, right, you're going to see that it's a little bit more. Sometimes you're going to see that it's a little bit less. That's how it is. That's, that's what it is like in this environment. But what we're looking for is a very, specific, a, a very specific amount. What the system is looking for is very specific. So you don't need to make those kind of changes. You know, the other thing is, please understand that the amount of Bitcoin that we're looking for is not a suggestion. You know, I, I heard, I heard uh, Mark say that some people are putting in $10. You know, I, and I almost wonder what that process is like when you know it's 25 or 50 or whatever you're trying to get and you actually just try to send $10. I, do you think that it's like, hey, I don't know, maybe they'll, they'll, maybe the system will feel good and they like me and they're going to, they're going to open me up for 10 bucks. Guys, you're just creating an issue for yourself. So, you know, and on the other hand, we've got other people that are sending $2,500 for a $25 membership, which means that we already know what they're doing. They're instead of just clicking copy, they're going in there and are typing it in and they're moving fast or they're working on their phone. They're adding extra zeros. 
and hey, the 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 blockchain, your wallet is going to send whatever number you put in there, um, whether you whether you meant to send send it or not. So we can actually take care of that and get that back to you, but you're just creating more backlog. So one of the things about a wallet that I find interesting though is before you send anything, it asks you to review all the details and then send. Take the extra second to review the details. I know you don't want to send twenty five hundred dollars for a twenty five dollar membership. So don't, if you took a second, if you looked at it, if you were thorough, it's okay. But I think a lot of this just comes from everybody is in such a rush because they're worried about, oh my, they're worried about their position in the infinity line. Guys, relax. Seriously. You're going to have a million, no matter when you get in over the next several weeks, you're going to have a million people getting behind you over the next several months. You're going to have plenty of times to loop around the infinity line. It's going to be one of the best experiences of your life. But none of this is worth that aggravation because you're moving too fast or you're not taking the time to work with people, et cetera, et cetera, for you to go through that. So just please just take your time. I know people are excited and we know a lot of people are very excited because they've gotten in just fine. And right now they, they have no idea what we're talking about because they're like, hey, my experience was exactly what it was supposed to be. But for those of you that are experiencing some of these challenges, just take your time. It's going to be a lot easier. And by the way, if you do that, I want, I want you to understand, if you do that, if you take your time and if you take the time to walk everyone through it, guess what it does for us on the other side? It completely lessens what Mark's about to talk about now, the user errors. And now we can really drill that down. So are we seeing any actual real things that would require the programmers to go back and make some adjustments here or there? But when everybody is hitting us with emails that just say, help me dot, 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 right? Or, you know, things that are saying something's not working right. That's not helpful. It just, it, it's clogging up the system and it actually doesn't actually tell us anything, right? And then at least if you are going through and doing this, we can rule out user error and we can clarify some things down. So Mark, just wanted to add that, man. Awesome job. Um, and again, I just kind of feel it. I, I can sense a, a lot of the calls, the emails we're getting, the texts we're getting. A lot of people are really, really excited and we just want them to kind of be focused though, because this process is very critical, especially with those withdrawals, man. We're so concerned about that because people have the wrong uh, wallets in there and we already know what's going to happen. You got $10,000 in your wallet. You're going to withdraw it. It's never going to show up. You're going to come back and look at your wallet and then you're going to realize you got the wrong wallet and you're going to say, Bitlosny, I'm sorry I made a mistake, um, but I, but I, I need to fix it. And how do I get my $10,000 back? Guys, it's not that kind of party. It's not like we sent it to ourselves. If you sent it, if you put a wrong wallet in there and we sent it to the wrong wallet, that's irreversible. So we don't want to see you go through that pain. We don't want to see you spend all this time building all that up just so you can make that little mistake. But that little mistake is major. And I would suggest everybody go back into their office, verify that their wallet is correct, and make sure you take the time to contact all of your people personally to make sure theirs is correct as well. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing with this later. And there literally is nothing. And even those who know about the blockchain and about crypto, you know, there's nothing we can do about it once somebody actually confirms a withdrawal and sends it to the wrong place. So thanks, Mark, man. Keep it going, sir. I'm going to chime back out. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. And so, uh, by the way, the developers are putting something in place to avoid underpayments and hung up transactions. So I can't speak on the details of that. It's actually being done right now as we speak. Once that's released, we'll be able to do a tutorial, a tutorial which will explain that to you. So that's that's uh, instrumental in stopping the hung up transactions that some people have 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 experienced. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next thing, and then uh, we're going to have some some testimonies because we've had a tremendous launch, ladies and gentlemen. Even with the challenges, we've had a tremendous launch, and we've had people who have done ex extremely well. It's uh, really is a clue as to what's going to happen. Uh, moving forward. So let's talk about common user errors. So the first thing, I'm not going to play this video. I will show you how to activate your account. I'm not going to play this tutorial, but it's key and instrumental that every new participant watches this tutorial video that literally walks a person through the registration and the package purchase process. And we're going to be updating this, this video and making it even more clear uh, moving forward. But everyone should have watched this video once, once or twice. Okay, I'm going to skip this for right now. Okay, great. <clears throat>
So let's see, I'm missing a page. I wanted to get to another page. Let me see something here. I'm gonna have to stop this for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this for a second. Bear with me one second, guys. I need to get to the right page that I'm looking for right now. And uh, somehow I missed it, but I'm gonna get it here. One second. There we go, great. Okay, great. So let's talk about common errors, common errors. Okay, so we mentioned it a couple of times already, not sending the correct amount of Bitcoin. So when you get ready to make a purchase to pay that admin fee, the system's going to provide you with the amount of Bitcoin that you need to send. You don't want to change that. You want to send exactly what it is asking for. All right. So some people, when they see that, they think that they need to round things off in US dollars. But when you do that, you are interfering with the system. Whatever it is in US, leave it. The focus is the Bitcoin amount, okay? All right, some people are sending it's more Bitcoin than, than is requested because in their mind, they think that they don't, they're not sending enough, that they need to compensate for a transaction fee, even though it's all built in there. So you don't need to do that again, all right? Um, also, some people are not using the copy click clipboard feature, which is that little box. When you click on that, it's going to copy the amount to your clipboard, and then you can paste it in the appropriate uh, area moving forward. Okay. Also, and this is a little bit our fault. I, I, don't, I think we sent out two different messages concerning this. But as soon as you send your payment, you want to immediately click the verify and activate my package tab at the bottom of the page. Okay. So as soon as you send your payment, immediately click the verify and activate my package. This lets the system know that you have sent money and it's it's going to basically look for that money so it can get you verified um, and moving forward. All right. The other thing, we're dealing with the blockchain. So the blockchain is the transactional uh, part that, that handles uh, the verification of those transactions. So it needs to confirm. All right. It needs to have at least one confirmation within, within the system before you can move forward. All right. And so as, as I mentioned, we're working on some things to avoid the underpayments and the hangups that people have experienced, that some people have experienced over the last couple of days. And that's being worked on as we speak. We expect that to be implemented here very shortly. And that's going to help eliminate that. And all those people who have had hung up issues up to this point, every single issue, the developers are going through every single issue to make sure that they are all corrected. And they may be in contact with you. They may contact you because maybe it was a short under uh, underpayment or something like that because the price of Bitcoin dropped dramatically over the last over the last couple of days. Okay, not your fault, not our fault. It's just the the blockchain system. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so here's something else uh, we wanted to mention. So if you're using blockchain.com, the app on your phone, the QR code does not work. All right, you go to scan the QR code. It says that you have an invalid or invalid wallet address. That's because the QR code is, is not working. It's something about the technology between the iOS and the uh, you know and, and the other computers that makes it a little little bit difficult. So what you may have to do, you may have to copy and paste the wallet address and put it into your blockchain.com app. Or even better is to go online, go to blockchain.com online and paste the wallet address on the online portal using it that way and it, and it will go through, okay? Okay, now of course a lot of people are using a lot of other wallets out there. People are using coinspayment.net, Atomic Wallet, Exodus Wallet, Genesis. There's a ton of wallets out there that you can use as well. You don't necessarily have to pay from the blockchain.com, okay? All right. All right, so when sending support emails, as we mentioned earlier, you want to include as much detail as possible. We talked about the previous subject titles and those other emails are earlier, but anything else, you want to simplify it, you know, put a subject in there, provide as much information as possible to make it as easy as possible for the uh, support to be able to, to assist you. The other thing is, <clears throat> you know, sometimes you have connectivity issues. It's an internet thing. You might try to log in uh, using Explorer and you can't get in, but then you go and use Chrome and you, you get right into the website. Or you use Firefox and all of a sudden everything speeds up. 
So sometimes it's connectivity, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're having issues, don't be afraid to change a browser. Use a different browser and you may find that you're going to get a better result. Okay. So now, <clears throat> so these are the main things that we want to discuss with you today. But what I want to do is we had, you know, a great day yesterday and we had a lot of people who did extremely well. And, hey, Mark. Uh, yes. Mark, I'm sorry. Uh, because before you go to that, which I'm excited about that part. I just want to know if you could really add some color to one of the things on here, which is number six, not waiting for one confirmation. It, it, it has come to my attention that if for the people who are very unfamiliar with blockchain, they have no idea what that means. They don't know what the confirmation, where they should be looking for it at. So could you just kind of just walk through a little just for a few seconds what that means and why it's important so that people aren't getting hung up on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I think the main thing you have to understand, um, and I'm, I want to make this, you know, very general, you have to understand something is called Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is actually the process of verifying Bitcoin transactions. It's a series of thousands of computers, ladies and gentlemen, that verify every transaction that goes through the blockchain and it's all permanently recorded. And so once it goes through one checkpoint, that's called a confirmation. And it may take many, many checkpoints or many, many confirmations for that transaction to completely go through the internet and, that, and those funds to transfer from one wallet to the other. Our system is looking for at least one confirmation before it would allow you to go to the next step to purchase another package. And so when you make that payment, you have to wait for a moment. You have to wait for that confirmation now. As soon as you make that payment, you know you're going to click that verify and activate my package. You want to do that right away because that's telling the system that a payment has been sent so it can look for it. But it still has to wait for that confirmation. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> the blockchain sometimes is fast, sometimes it's slow. And uh, Bitlocity has nothing to do with that. And if the price of Bitcoin is going up dramatically or going down dramatically, the blockchain is going to be slow. And this is what we have experienced the last, last couple of days. So Bitcoin dropped from almost 55,000 all the way down to like 42, 43. All right. And so the blockchain was, was tied up. Now, there are some other issues that we have identified that the developers have identified. They're working on those. And as I mentioned, all of you who have hung up transactions, you will be contacted one by one to address that and to get that, get that taken care of. In many cases, what happened was the price of Bitcoin dropped and that transaction that you sent, it was short a few dollars. And so uh, anyway, that's going to be, be addressed and, uh, and we can move forward. All right. So hopefully that helped out a little bit. Coach Brian, was that good? All right. So he's still muted. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a few testimonies. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to bear with me for a few moments. I'm going to unmute just a few people just to share <clears throat> a few things with everybody. And if I can, if I can find them, we've got a lot of people on this, on this webinar right now. And uh, bear with me one second. All right. Okay. So before I can do that, I have to be able to find the person's name. Okay, there we are. There we are right there. Okay, let's get um, Mr. Clyde Richardson. Are you there, sir? All right, I want to see if we can find Mr. Clyde Richardson. If you're there, you should be able to unmute your microphone. Yep. Okay, can you hear me, Mark? Yes, I yes I can. Welcome, welcome to the call. All right, so I, I know you had a gr great experience yesterday. I wonder if you can share with everyone the experience you had, and you know, just share your excitement about Bitlocity. Okay, we lost you, Clyde. You you're back muted again. Okay, great, great. Yes, it was a good experience. Um, if you want to call overwhelming. Uh, good, <laughs> but it was good in a, in, a, in a very good way. It really was. People are very excited about coming on. And uh, there was a lot of people just just wanting to get started. And considering the amount of people that are coming in and 
everything, the, the different moving parts. Uh, very good launch. Very, very amazing. And we're, we're really moving forward with it. Um, we have something really special here. Um, we have something that people are really looking for. They're really looking to learn about crypto. They're really looking to benefit from this. And we have the educational platform that's really, really going to help them. And we have some of the top leaders already in place. We have uh, some of the top programmers and we have some of the top trainers. And so uh, people uh, are really looking and there's really nothing else out there like this. And that's one of the reasons, you know, for the excitement and why the launch is moving so fast and going so well. So we are just, you know, looking to help people with this. And uh, I really applaud you, Mark and, and Brian and the advisory board members that I'm working with and everybody behind the scenes. It's, it's amazing uh, what's being accomplished and how, you know, we're putting the people first and even the ones with challenges, we're helping them. And uh, the vast majority are in, ready to roll, and it's going, going very well. So very happy to be able to work with everybody here. And I uh, look forward to us getting bigger and better as, as we grow this and become the, the premier uh, company out there as we're really on the way to being. So thanks for letting me share, Mark. All right. Thank you so much, Clyde. Really, really appreciate it. Great, great working with you. Okay. I want to bring, bring on Mr. Mr. Earl Dixon. Now he's out there in South Carolina and uh, it's either South or North Carolina. I get it confused sometimes, but let me see if I can find him. It's a bit of a challenge of finding people when you have uh, 3,000 people <laughs> on the Zoom, right? <laughs> but bear with me one, one moment. I saw his uh, name a few minutes ago, and now I just need to uh, find him. So this gives him a few moments to, uh, to get his uh, microphone together and all those things. All right, let's see where you're at, where you're at. Okay, give me a second. This is a little bit challenging. All right, let me do it like this. Um, maybe you can uh, raise raise your hand, uh, Mr. Dixon, and it might make it a little easier for me to be able to uh, to find you here. All right, so here it is. I found you. All right, Mr. Dixon, are you there, sir? All right, you should be able to unmute yourself now. All right, how are you doing today, Mark? I'm well, how about yourself? I'm doing wonderful, Mark. I just wanted to tell you how excited I am about um, Bitlocity and the work that you guys have truly done. Um, one thing I wanted to tell the audience, you know, I want everybody, I'm a computer engineer by trade and, um, I was an engineer for 15 years. And when you launch a platform, there, there are some issues that's going to be resolved. We want you guys to partner up with us, um, to come up from a family because this vehicle that we have here where institution investors are, are buying Bitcoin every single day and they're not going to sell, they're going to hold. I'm looking at an article right now. It says that BTC balance sheets, 42 companies uh, within the last month have bought $1.3 billion in Bitcoin. And guys, let me tell you something. They're buying the dips. They understand there's never going to be but 21 million mine. One third of those are gone. This program, this program will allow us to tap into the 14 million, 70 thousand Bitcoin that's left out there. When the institutional investors see the price go down like it did yesterday, guys, they there to buy and hold. This program, Bitlocity, is allowing the average person in this ecosystem to get Bitcoin at a discount. Other people are going to have to pay retail for Bitcoin. If you stay the path, support the community, support the platform, and give the best um the best support you can from the field back to the platform owners to make sure we got the best vehicle in this industry. We all going to be happy very soon. So Mark, keep doing what you're doing on that side. 
We appreciate the fact that you guys engineered this thing to be able to put Bitcoin in the hand of the average person. Last thing I'm going to tell you guys is this. Bitcoin has no respect to person. It's all about those who know and those who don't know, those who have and those who do not have. Mark and this crew have been able to put us on the other side of the digital divide so we can truly say that we have. So thank you, Mark. We look forward to everything that's, here, that's coming that have not happened yet. Thank you, Mark. All right. Thank you so much, Earl. I really appreciate that. So next, I want to bring on Pastor Charles. Pastor Charles is out there in Texas, Houston, Texas. And Pastor Charles, you should be able to unmute yourself right now. Well, hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me okay, Brother Mark? Yep, yes, sir. Well, welcome to the call. Maybe you can share with us you know, your experience and, and why you're excited about Velocity. Well, first of all, I want to thank you and, and Mr. B for all your efforts and, and, and all the time that you have guys have spent to make sure that uh, the entire family of Bitlocity be informed of all that we're doing. Uh, I'm excited about Bitlocity. I know that um, I uh, was part of this journey before we even had the name Bitlocity on paper. And, and I was excited then when we came together and said that this is what we was going to do and what we was going to put out here for individuals to be able to have uh, great success. I am, uh, I'm, uh, I, although I know that in this industry, I've been in this industry for over three decades and, and I've been in companies where we had launches and some has been successful, some has, has failed and some have having the, the ills that we are experiencing now. And the ills that we're experiencing now, and I just want to say to everybody, what we're experiencing now is, is what we're doing in common. It's just like when two couples are getting married. When you're bringing two individuals together, you're not going to have your things perfectly right off the bat. You're going you're gonna to have those issues where uh, there's not proper communication. You're going to have those issues where there's not uh, uh, you got to bring in your ideals back into and, and, and to, 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 to become one. And those challenges are going to come. But if you stay the course, you're going to have a, you're going to have that marriage, just like what God has designed marriage to be. Well, I look at what we are having here with philosophy as that same exact thing. We're going to have our ups. We're going to have our downs. We're going to have some challenges uh, with the systems. Uh, our our uh, developers and the staff are doing a tremendous job, a tremendous job. And my hat's off to them. And you guys don't understand, and maybe some do, but maybe you are new to this game. Maybe you are new to the industry. You never, you don't, you didn't know anything about blockchain or the uh, 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 bitlocity or uh, uh, cryptocurrency and all. There's a lot of work to be done behind the scenes. And we have a team that is committed to make sure that Bitlocity is one of, it is the best, not one of the best. Now, I believe there is, you know, there, there's other companies, but I'm telling you, I'm sold that Bitlocity is, one, is, the, is going to be the game changer in this industry. And then ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, if you never experience success in any, any entity that you have done from an online marketing, uh, affiliated marketing, or uh, uh, any of those type of industries, which we are not that. We are none of those things. We're not an MLM and our investment platform. We're not a, none of those things. We're not investment securities. We're none of that. But if you have had any, not have the success, just like the gentleman my brother just said before, you have now gotten yourself in a position where you're going to be able to earn and be able to uh, achieve much, much more from a financial standpoint and you're going to learn how to build a, a healthy financial portfolio through the uh, Bitlocity uh, 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 Academy and, and, and I'm as, I, I, again I'm excited I'm tired I'm gonna tell you right now I've been a pastor is one tired rascal and, and, and but I guess what I am all in. 1,000 million percent, I'm Bitlocity, and I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for you to be here. And again, just be patient with us. We're going to work out whatever we need to work out. And guess what? But guess what tomorrow we'll bring? 
you know, my Bible teaches me that God says uh, that uh, that that His mercies are re are renewed in the morning time. Everything's done in the morning. Every time we wake up, we got we wake up with a fresh slate with God. And so I'm saying to you, every time we wake up, every time we have another opportunity for velocity to get better, it's a new day. And so uh, I'm excited for that. I, I, I'm my team is having success. I'm having success, and that's and that's the most important thing. And I know everyone's on this line is having success as well. And All so right. I, I want to say thank you very much. Back to you, Brother Mark. All right. Thank you so much, Pastor. So let's bring uh, some young ladies on the call. And that's a young lady who really helps us out in the Facebook group, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, if you're in the Facebook group, often, you know, people get upset about the little, littlest thing and they begin to make all types of comments. And if you have something positive to say, you absolutely want to, want to participate because people need need help. And that's why that's why Bitlocity is here to help people. And we have a young lady who's very helpful. She's doing some amazing things uh, with Bitlocity already. Her name is Wendy. And Wendy, I uh, I put you on the uh, on the call, and I hope you have the opportunity. You can unmute yourself, say say a few words uh, to everybody. And, and Wendy, are you there? Go ahead and click on your microphone. You should be able to unmute yourself. All right. So she may be having a little challenge uh, dealing dealing with the microphone. But we also have Robin on the line. She's out there from the Maryland area. And Robin is wondering if you could unmute, unmute yourself and uh, share a few few words with everybody about how things are going for you so far. How you doing, Mark? <laughs> I'm great. How about yourself? Good, good. Hi, everybody. Yes, I'm excited as can be, <laughs> over overjoyed about the program and just what we have in front of us with Bitlocity um, for 2021 and beyond. Um, I've shared this with my family, um, friends, um, just, you know, business partners from other opportunities and everyone is excited. I mean, when they, you know, when it was being birthed, the idea, you know, we talked about it and everybody was like, oh my goodness, we can't wait. People in other countries are like, oh, we need this, we need this. So this is just like a, oh. Sorry about that trading thing. This is just uh, a blessing for everyone involved. And, you know, and, and I've, me and many of my people already, even with some of the people have gotten clogged up in the system, but we're going to get that fixed as we heard Mark mention earlier with the developers that's working and probably sleep with sleepless nights, <laughs> trying to get everything straight for us to be successful with the, uh, with Bitlocity. So I, I have um, made some money, you know, and I was happy to see that that the infinity line work. Um, I think I got a few spill a spill up, <laughs> a few spill up. So everything is working in the the um, the matrix and unit level. So all of those are working, just like Coach Brian talks about in the presentation. So uh, hold on to your seats, guys, for 2021 and beyond. Bitlocity, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Robin. And to those of you who came in late, I just want to, uh, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, repeat just a couple of the announcements. If you didn't hear, first of all, the education will now be available in your back office tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time. And those are the packages that you've purchased. Those videos will be opened up and released to you. You'll be able to start that educational process and also withdrawals will be turned on tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure you verify your wallet address that it is correct, because once you make that withdrawal, if you have the wrong wallet address, there is no reversals. It cannot be reversed. Uh, you you are letting the, uh, the, uh, the blockchain do what it does, and that cannot be changed. All right. So that's all we have, ladies and gentlemen. Really appreciate all of you being here on Wednesday. We will have a training. We're going to do training twice a week now. Um, not sure of the time yet, but we will post it in, in advance so you know about that. And, of course, we have training on Saturdays as well at 11, 11 a.m. And then, of course, we have our international call, and that is uh, at 2 p.m., and that is on Tuesday, which will be, which will be tomorrow. That will be the overview. And, of course, we also have the – the online on-demand webinar, which runs three times a day, seven days a week. And that's bitlocityeveryday.com. So if you're here for the first time, get in contact with the person who invited you 
here. They'll get your questions answered and show you how to join a very successful community. Thank you so much, everyone. Have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.